What's going on, YouTube? I am Flow, so back with another reaction video. Today, we are checking out Linkin Park Draw Bar. So, I did look into Genius, man, to see what this song was going to be about, see like what type of lyrics it had. It seems to be that this is an instrumental, I think it's the second instrumental on the album. Definitely excited to see what the hell is going on here because I see that it is featuring uh, Tom Morello which i guess according to genius uh it shows here that he does get uh guest guitar work on this instrumental so i'm definitely excited to check it out guys if you guys are fans of lincoln park let me know so by slapping that like button below and also let me know your favorite song from the album down in the comments below without further ado guys let's get right into this video boy All right, so this is uh, Draw Bar, the Linkin Park song, and this instrumental. Let's see what it's about, man. Oh, very, very deep, man. Okay, so right off bat, man, I like how they're coming in. It sounds very, very deep, man. It's got like a little like uh, vibrato type of uh, effect in the guitar. But then I like how they, they just added that deep uh, piano keys in there as well. It's very, very dark instrumental to be completely honest. Let's get it. Drums okay. Ooh, little kick. Oh, yo, the drums is giving me like, like the feeling of like maybe like a, like a marching band type of drum, like the way that they're playing it. I do like how they're bringing in every instrumental little by little. I'm guessing the guest guitarist, uh, Tom Morello. It's the guy that keeps doing that same uh, guitar work throughout the entire song so far. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that drum is more like... And then that kick right there, man. I'm liking how they added that guitar right there. I mean, not that guitar, the piano, right? Oh my God, this is so dark, but I love it. I wonder who did the piano in this because I'm seeing that it's produced by Mike Shinoda and Brad Delson. And I know Tom is the one doing guitar, so is this Mike right here? All right, guys, uh, that was uh, Linkin Park with Draw Bar, man. Let's talk about this one real quick, man. Um, I do like how the guitar came in, right? But with that being said, the guitar is kind of what started the track. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the guitar. I mean, it was still good, but I wasn't like a huge fan. Like what I really liked about this, um, I would have to say is between the piano 
and the drum which i think i'm weighing more towards the drum just because i did like how it gave me like that marching band type of drum uh so i did like that um now as far as the piano man i love how how um dark the piano was if that makes sense like i feel like the whole instrumental was kind of dark um i just picture myself being in a dark space uh, outside maybe rain lots and lots of rain just alone you know what i mean um and I feel like this this is one of those tracks that is better off that they didn't actually add uh, lyrics to it. Like, they didn't add vocals because the track itself tells a story. Um, and it can tell different stories for a lot of people. Like, for I said, for me, for example, the story that that, that instrumental told is that it is very dark and very lonely and maybe trying to get through shit. Like, I honestly, I can't tell you enough, man. I picture myself walking in the middle of the night, lots of rain pouring down, man wiping the rain off of my face and walking towards something that I'm still not sure what I'm walking towards to. Um, definitely, definitely love how deep that was. I was not expecting that to be deep. As far as the uh, the title draw bar, I'm not exactly sure why they named that. And the only information that they have on Genius, it says the 10th track and the second instrumental on the album, this song features guest guitar work from acclaimed guitarist and former Rage Against the Machine member Tom Morello. Uh, but that's literally all that it says there. Um, but honestly, man, very, very, very dark track. Um, if you guys have like your own meaning towards this track, let me know down in the comments below. I definitely want to see how everybody took it because I took it to be dark. Somebody can take it to be light. Somebody can take it to be happy. Uh, let me know what you guys take this track as down in the comments below. And also let me know your favorite song from this album. I do believe we have two more songs from the hunting party album. And then we move on to the one more light album. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that has been waiting. I've been waiting on it for myself as well, too. So, man, definitely excited to get ahead and finish that one. Let me know your favorite songs again down in the comments below. Follow me on all my social media, guys. And I'll see you guys next time with another one.